What's going on, everybody? I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else in the right corner at the bottom of this video. You can find my Twitter handle. You guys make sure to follow me. Today I'm over on the NLSC and we're gonna go to the forum. This is the main website page, but we're gonna go to the forum and we're gonna go to the 2K22 section and we're going to take a look at how to install how to download and install the um what is it called the roster editing tool by louis so let's do that now so i've gone over to to uh, the forum and as you can see there's different sections you can click on whatever piques your interest you know you guys check out this website but me i'm gonna go to 2k22 section now there is a main general section which you can put you know a lot of screenshots threads issues but i'm going to the modding section today i'm going to click on the modding section here you can go to tutorials if you need a tutorial i may be the only person that posted tutorials but uh you you can go to tutorials if you need to or the general section but let's go to modding for right now so let's click on nba 2k22 modding it takes us to a new page and if you just look through the post here at the very top you'll likely see nba 2k22 tool and roster editor okay this is by louis thank you again for creating this now we're gonna go into this post here we're gonna go here and we're gonna take a look at his roster editor he's been creating roster editors i think the last i think this is like the third year he might have been creating them before 2k20 but uh he's created them in the same style with like it's its own interface the last three years for sure all right so here we are here we are you can get some previews of what the tool looks like you can see you can preview player information and change player information such as you know uh player numbers or um, you know, their attributes, if you want to play, you know, just kind of the same stuff you can change in game. All right. So anyway, I just clicked the link to download. You will need to have access to Google. Don't try to download this part right here. Come over here to the right and then click download. All right. And it'll download the entire thing for you. Come to the right. It's going to start downloading. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK to save. And it should download pretty fast. So now I can open up that downloaded file. Do, do. I'm going to go ahead and open it because it is a. All right. So it's going to tell me I, you know, Windows is trying to protect my PC. This is not a virus at all, okay? So what I have to do here is click more info. I have to click more info here. And when I do, it, it gives me more information, so I click run anyway. This is a safe tool if you download it directly from the creator. Um, so it's not a virus if you download it directly from the creator. I clicked yes on that last screen brings us to this. Now you can install it to your C drive or you can choose wherever you want to install it. Me, I'm actually going to install it to a different folder. So let me grab that folder address where I want this. Bear with me for a brief second. All right. Yeah, I'm going to put it in there. Okay. So I'm going to copy this address because this is where I want it to go. So I'm just going to change up the first part of this. All right. I'm going to click install. And as you can see up here, it created the folder that uh, this program is now in. And I can run it because I, I have the game running in the background already. And it says this tool is released for free. Thank you so much for that. Um, I have the, the game actually running in the background. So when I click on stuff, it's actually going to load the information from the roster that is currently in the game. So I can click on players. Usually there'll be some previews here of mods. Let's see what else staff you can 
you know, mess around with that. Team information, jerseys, shoes. And but the shoes, you can't really edit anything on the shoes screen. It's just telling you the ID, the ID number for each shoe. But if you go down, let me see. If we go down to special shoes, you will see there is a special shoe called Super Speed. And that is the shoe with wings. Okay. So there we have it. You can't, you just need that. I think you just need the ID number of the shoes to actually assign the shoe to a player. But anyway, we're going to, that's really it. That's really all I have for this. Now, I will have to do a separate video on uh, a plugin for Louis' other program, which is called The Hook. This is just his roster editor. Now, the Hook program, wow, look at that. It's got some previews. The Hook program is what allows you to use mods. This is just a roster editor. You don't need mods to use the roster editor. But anyway, I'll be back with another one.